What's up everybody, my name is Scott Waters. Welcome to Lights of Metal. It's time for a big edition of... The Mail. That's right, time for The Mail. This edition of The Mail is brought to you by uh, Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules on YouTube. Um, and he told me he bought me a CD. Um, so I wanted to show that CD and here's the box that it came in all the way from Canada. I just dropped it, so hopefully there was it was not a breakable CD. Alright. <laughs> so got my knife. So we're gonna break into this thing real quick and see what's in this CD package. The uh, post office did a pretty good job of tearing this box up, so but usually Greg is pretty good about packing things well, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Alright, right on top. We've got something super lame. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay for packing material. That's pretty much what this is for. <laughs> okay, now, if, if you're new to my channel, that Gre Greg and I trade stuff back and forth all this time. And Greg's from Canada, so he sends me all kinds of hockey stuff. It is the one sport that I'm really into. It is the one sport he's really into. And uh, I'm a Flyers fan and a Kings fan. I, I love both teams equally, and I follow both teams. So, as such, I hate the Penguins, and I hate the Ducks. But anyhow, here is a child's jersey for the Ducks. <laughs> um, yeah. This, um, even though this is like something that I'm going to end up giving away, most of the Duck stuff I get, I have a friend who actually owns one of the direct companies I work for, who's a huge Ducks fan. Um, however, some of these smaller jerseys that he, that he gives to me, um, I actually donate them to the local hockey team um, so that they can use them as practice jerseys. So that's awesome, Greg. I, I don't know if I ever told you that or not, but um, we have Pee Wee Leagues here and they offer free equipment to the, uh, to the local kids. And So those kid-sized jerseys, that's what I use them for. They're awesome. All right, and likewise, an adult-sized jersey for the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Yep, the Disney team of Anaheim. So this this one will, will make a nice will get a nice home with with uh, Bill Baffert of Rocks Rock Records who is a huge Ducks fan although I don't know why and why he's not a Kings fan um, considering he's from L.A. but anyhow um, another jersey ah much better <laughs> much better classic L.A. Kings jersey. Very nice. Really kind of hoping we have a hockey season this season. It's not looking too good, but we'll see. Uh, next up, <laughs> next up is it's um, yeah, <laughs> a big giant penguin. Uh, yeah. So believe it or not, my wife is also a hockey fan, and she is the the Penguins fan. I loathe the Penguins. <laughs> But I do, get, I do get a kick out of them. I have some t-shirts in here, which I'm going to show last. Um, there are some 8-track tapes. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's, this is cool. This is a, I don't know what to call these things, beer koozie. Um, signed to me, Ross the Boss beer koozie. And it's actually signed to me from Ross the Boss. That's really cool. Thank you for that. I know he just went to see Ross the Bus. I think back before all the crazy happened and everything was locked down. So uh, here's a hat. Oh, this hat's cool. There's a brand new hat as well. Aerosmith hat. Adjustable for my big head. Yeah, too small. Have to have to adjust it, but I'll do that later. If it was, if it was a snap, I'd do it now, but I don't want to take too much time. Open last, please. Okay, I'll put that to the side. Next up, we have April Wine Live at Contra DVD. This is very cool. Huge April Wine fan, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. People often ask me, why do you wear your sunglasses when you're doing videos on your head? Because it keeps my hair out of my face, and it sometimes drives me crazy. Um, April Wine Live. So I have not seen this. Looking forward to seeing it. When was this thing recorded? Um, live in London. 
It's on the Nature of the Beast tour. So this is back in the early 80s when they were at their prime. So that's going to be awesome to watch. All right, next up we got a uh, classic magazine from the 70s. Um, Bee Gees on the cover, but uh, this has... Uh, let's see if the... Uh, let's see here if the, the center is still in it. So you got... I love these old magazines. So you got Queen, back when they were just awesome at their height. There's a Ted Nugent and Aerosmith. Boss Skaggs. Anyhow, I don't want to sit here and look at a magazine, but this is from 1978. So that was around the time when bands like Ted Nugent were and Aerosmith were just huge, selling out stadiums. Uh, next up is a, ooh, a book. The Ultimate Illustrated History of Boston's Bad Boys Aerosmith Book. Yes, I am an Aerosmith fanatic, and this is fantastic. So uh, obviously I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going through this. That's very cool. Like I said, this is that's definitely about 1978. Definitely a stadium crowd, but that's just incredible. It's a very cool. I'm really looking forward to checking this book out. This this is worth the price of admission alone right here. You could have just sent this, and I would have been ecstatic. Uh, next up, we've got some poops. Six hundred poops. <laughs> No, it looks like uh, in the side of the 600 poops is some CDs. Uh, so we'll get into those real quick right now. And here is a little note saying, this is, the C this is the CD I talked about sending. So the CD he said he was gonna send me was this one, which I have never heard of. I love Moxie, but I've never heard this particular release. Um, so this is Moxie Live in Toronto. So that will be getting a spin relatively quickly, so that's very cool. But there are several more in here. Uh, UK's The Sweet. Very cool. Uh, this is kind of a best of package. The original UK glam band. Let's see. Uh, there's not much to this one in the way of pictures or anything other than that one right there. Love the sweet. They had some very, very poppy stuff. They had some very, very heavy stuff for their time. Kim Mitchell, Ain't Life Amazing, which I do not have yet. Kim Mitchell, of course, being the guitar player from Max Webster, uh, who went on to have a long and successful and still going solo career. An autographed copy of Monster Truck EP. Lethal Weapon Cop, here's the, the cover and it's autographed. Lethal Weapon Cop Car, Death Mistake, Run In, and Space Nebula are the songs on there. And next up we have um, Kitty Spit. This is a band I know of, I know nothing about. I do know that you know they started off some, as some sort of new metal band and then I've heard they've evolved into a, a, a better band and even doing something similar to thrash metal. I can't say that for sure because I've not heard them. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. If it's new metal, I probably won't dig it. If it's closer to metal, you know, traditional metal or thrash, then I will dig it. This is a cool one. Pretty sure he showed this one on his, on his channel too. This is uh, Stars Greatest Hits Live. I love Stars. I just think those guys, they're they one of the best bands in the 70s and just never got the recognition they deserved. They had everything going for them. The look, the sound, the, the, the label, the, the, the killer logo. Uh, them and Angel, they just for whatever reason it's never caught on um, but great band I, I, I really think if they would have both those bands if they would have moved into the 80s I think they were really precursors to, to what became you know pop metal glam metal hair metal that kind of thing uh, if they would have stuck around into the 80s I really wonder how much how bigger they would have gotten because they were much more influential than they knew alright so Fog Hat Last Train Home that's awesome I don't have this one uh, this is one of their new albums um, with only I believe the drummer is the only original member in the band let me double check. Um, I don't see a name. I don't see any names in here. Let's see here. 
Yep. So we got Charlie Hunt on vocals uh, and rhythm guitar. Charlie Hunt, who has been in lots of different bands, but he was in the Joe Perry Project for a while. I'm sorry, he was in um, Ted Nugent for a while, not Joe Perry Project. Uh, and Roger Earl is the original drummer of the band, and he's still still rocking with Fog Hat. And they're still just playing that same sort of straightforward hard rock, boogie rock that they've always played. Don't know this one. The Shiny Things, Watch, watch on the Cities, looks to be punk. Don't know this band. If anybody knows about them, let me know. A couple from White Snake here. So we got White Snake the Purple album and White Snake the Purple tour. And it's nice to have these on CD. I actually have the Purple album on vinyl. I don't have the Purple album on CD, and I never heard the, the uh, Purple tour live album. So I'm looking forward to checking both those out. Whoa! Avalanche. We're having a CD avalanche here. All right, we got uh, Van Halen in the club, Golden West Ballroom, 1976. Wow, that should be interesting. Listen, obviously, well before they were signed because their first album came out in '78. So this is a, around the time when they were just playing on the strip in LA. This is um, Six Gun Loaded Gun. Looks like a two-song single. I don't know this band either. So Six Gun Loaded Gun. And two more CDs in here. Hair of the Dog, Rise. Um, 70s style hard rock, but a, a more recent band. This album is not that old, maybe not even 10 years old. Let's see here, oh, it's 20 years old now, wow, 2000. And then finally, um, DZ Top, Live from Texas, which I have this one on DVD, I don't have the CD. And as much as I like DD, music DVDs, I rarely watch them as opposed to listening to CDs which I do a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is in this box. There's a lot of stuff in here, so. So we got a, uh, an Ace Freely action figure, doll, whatever you want to call it. I'll just sit him over here now. Those are cool. Um, <laughs> funny and oddly enough, I have, a, I have a bunch of these that are in the package still. Um, but I have a bunch of them are not in the package and one day I just pulled a bunch of them out and me and my grandson just played, set them up and, you know, played with them and whatnot. It was a lot of fun playing with my grandson with Kiss Dolls. <laughs> I will kind of say I'm a geek, right? Alright, this is uh, Kissopoly. And the little note that came with it said there may be a piece or two missing. Oddly enough, we had Kissopoly. My son was such a KISS fan when he was a teenager, because um, this came out in the 90s. This is probably very late 90s, early 2000s at best. Uh, yeah, 2003. So that's actually, so my, like I said, my Kim son was a KISS fanatic. We play family games all the time. And uh, so we have this, but his is trash, because we played with it a lot. He was a kid. Um, so I bet the missing pieces from his, I can get from his beat up game and, and put together one perfect game. So that's very, very cool. And let's see what else is in here. Some eight track tapes. What do we have here? Edgar Winters White Trash. Susie Quattro, if you knew Susie. Oh, this one's cool. This is uh, Molly Hatchet, the first album. One of my all-time favorite bands. Kiss, double platinum. Here's one you're not gonna see in the uh, U.S. much. This is Max Webster, live, live uh, magnetic air, which I do have on vinyl. Slade's, Slatest. This is uh, Led Zeppelin, Houses of the Holy. Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, one of the greatest metal albums of all time. And another one of my favorite albums of all time, this is Thin Lizzy Jailbreak. Very cool. All right, so now we've got uh, t-shirts and then whatever the grail is. I'm hoping the grail is some Donnie and Marie because it would be a disappointing package from Greg and not have some Donnie and Marie in there, right? <laughs> all right, so first off, we got some 
Slayer. Slayer logo shirt, nothing on the back. Slayer logo shirt. Thrash metal. I just did a thrash metal, a bunch of thrash metal videos. Um, oh, this is very cool. This is a tour shirt, actually. 2012 tour shirt from Axel Rudy Pell. Front and back. Betty didn't come anywhere near here. Uh, nope, this is all Europe. So this is a European tour shirt. Um, this is an ACDC Canadian shirt. So we've got uh, ACDC back in Canada. And then the back has the the dates on the Canadian. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's very light. But you can see the, the outline of the country of Canada. Canada is beautiful. I, I've, I've only been there twice. Loved it both times. I must say it's very cold. <laughs> but um, I live in the desert. So when I went there in the summertime, I went there for uh, and I was there during Canada Day. Watching the fireworks on uh, July f uh, 1st. A lot of fun. But man, I was freezing. <laughs> Uh, Alright, next up, oh, this is cool. This is one of those full print shirts. Uh, Black Ice. This is Ice DC Black Ice. Again, another tour shirt. I don't know where Greg finds all these old tour shirts at. Very cool. What's this one? Oh, wow. Uh, I know Greg went to see um, this band, but this is Lee Aaron, the Metal Queen. So I don't know if he picked it up at the show or not, but that's very cool. So Canadian metal queen Lee Aaron, and she's gone out doing other stuff. She's done pop and uh, you know pop rock and whatnot. And, but in the last few years, she's been back to doing just her um, her metal stick and stuff again. So very cool. Oh, this is great. One of the greatest uh, bands and shirts ever on tour, 2000. 1972 to 2019, volume 47, on tour forever, Blue Oyster Cult. And again, it has the back. That's awesome. One of the greatest album covers ever. All right, and finally, we got the Grail, and I think this, from the feel of it, feels like an A track. So, yep, it is an A track. <laughs> it is a Grail, and it's almost mint. Donnie and Marie Osmond, I'm leaving it all up to you. So, there you go. Way to finish off a video of. A, of the mail with some Donnie and Marie <laughs> rock and roll, right? Hi, right, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, do leave a comment below. Love talking to y'all. And uh, we're coming back soon with uh, I'm going to be doing a Thin Lizzy 7 inch collection, going to be doing a top 20 um, hair metal albums, which was requested several times by people. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff planned, so appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Stay strong.